Welcome to Epson Labour Work Sharing Session. My name is Joanne. In this episode, we will explore how you can unlock the full capability of your Epson Label Printer using the Epson Label Editor software. Most of our Epson Label Printer can support Epson Label Editor software. It is the ultimate solution for you to create and customize labels. The Epson Label Editor software also helps to boost productivity by allowing you to create the labels you want first using your PC and transferring it to the label printer for printing. This helps to save time from editing before print. Now, let me run through with you the various features of the Epson Label Editor software. To start, visit Epson LabelWorks website to download the Epson Label Editor software for free. This one-time installation makes it easier for users to download as both Epson Label Editor software and printer driver is included. Once download completes, extract the file and click Setup icon to start running the installation. With newly improved user interface, it provides a user-friendly experience for you to select the various print functions. Easily navigate from the pop-up menu to select the type of labels you wish to print. Ensure that printer is connected to your PC before you select a printer to connect. Ensure that the tape cartridge is loaded into the printer. Click Refresh. To create faceplate label with Epson Label Editor software, select Faceplate, Set your tape length, the number of labels and block values you wish to create. The block values will determine the set of labels to be printed out. Click Print. For creating of labels with different length in Epson Label Editor software, select Mix Length, enter the information on the label, click the plus button to create subsequent labels. Once you are done, click Print and you are good to label. This feature also helps you to save costs when vertical text printing is selected. Now, you can print more labels with the same amount of tape length. If you need to mass print large volumes of labels with a fixed template, use the import function. This allows you to import your own template file into Epson Label Editor software. Click Import, then click Load Import Data. Select the document file to be imported. Next. Select Overwrite Current Data. Click OK and data will import successfully. Now, you can drag and drop the information into Label Design window to create your labels. You can also further design your labels by adding frames or images before print. Once you are done, click Print. For labels used in data centers and server rooms, the Epson Label Editor software allows you to create patch panel labels easily. You can select number ports needed and the sequence type and values. Select no use if there are no gaps in between ports. Under separator, choose line. When all settings are done, click print. For advanced cable management, self-laminating labels can be printed via Epson Label Editor software to facilitate good housekeeping practices. Ensure that the self-laminating tape cartridge is loaded into the printer. And click Refresh. Select Self-Lam and set the number of labels you need. Under Sequence Type, Choose Alpha Numeric Sequence. This allows you to input alphabet and numbers in the label. Change the format to string and input the information you wish to create. Next, click the Add Sequence button to create a new sequence. In the New Sequence column, you may select Numeric to change the initial and increment value of your choice. The numbers on the label will automatically run in sequential order based on the number of labels printed and the value input under Increment Cell. Lastly, click Print. 
Cable flag labels can help you identify specific cable ports, which reduces the downtime to rectify when there are power trips or even malware attack. First, click on flag. Select the number of labels you want to create. Select the cable type of your choice. Set the flag length to the desired length. Select the sequence type to alphanumeric sequence. To fix the initial value, choose string format in the first column. Key in your initial value. Next, to create the auto increment value, choose numeric format in the second column. Lastly, click the parameters tab again and select your layout and choose the type of separator. This will serve as a guide when you paste the flag label onto the actual cable. You can also leverage on data transfer tool functions to print this set of labels using the printer on site. This allows you to complete your task more efficiently. To export data from Epson Label Editor software into your label printer, Step 1. Select the data to export. Step 2. Click on the Transfer Data tab and click the Transfer button. Step 3. Under Data Transfer Tool pop-up window, click Save. Step 4. Give the file a name and click Save afterwards. Lastly, click Transfer to transfer the data. Check and ensure data has been successfully transferred into the hardware printer. Now, you can have a hassle-free labelling experience wherever you are on the booth. You can also save files in the Epson Label Editor software for future prints. To do so, click on File, Save As, give a file a name, and click Save. To resume the editing, go to File, select Open and choose the saved file. Lastly, there are templates readily available in the Epson Label Editor software. This allows for flexibility in customising your labels. We hope you have found this session useful and have learned more about the Epson Label Editor software. We believe in no time, you will be able to unlock the full potential of your Epson label printer and improve the efficiency in your cable management and labelling needs. Thank you and see you soon.